hello everyone in this video we will see how to derive fvisdt which is date of first visit variable in adsl data set so this video is part of the series of derivation of key date variables which are commonly used in adsl so in the earlier videos we have seen how to derive date of informed consent date of randomization date of first exposure to treatment date of last exposure to treatment and date of informed consent and randomization were based on DS data set, treatment start date and treatment end date were based on EX data set. And this FVSDT variable is based on the SDTM SV data set. Now let us take a look at the specification of the derivation algorithm provided to us. It says using SV data set, that is SDTM SV data set, get FVSDT as numeric of date part of SV STDTC of the earliest record of a subject so sv we know that there exists more than one record per subject and if in such case we are being asked to use the earliest record across all the records based on svstdtc and use the value from svstdtc and convert it into numeric component so to populate the fvstt variable so we have also been given some additional details related to programming which says sort the sv data set by u sub jd and sv stdtc and the and then pick the earliest non-missing date so let us try to manually identify the fsdt variable for the data which we have been so far saying in this data uh, example series so we had three subjects in our demographics data 1001, 1002 and 1003. So for this FSDT variable we need SV data set as input. Let us go to SV data set and then see. So if we see in SV the record structure is more than one record per subject. One record per actual subject visit means the visit uh, record structure for our SDTM SV data set. So let us try to identify the FSDT value for each subject. Let us try to first filter for subject 1001 and then see how many records we have. We have two records for this subject and out of these two records we need to pick the earliest date value available in SVSTDTC. So it looks like both these records have the same date and also the time so which is 29 September 2011. The FSDT value for this subject would then be the 29th September 2011. So let us populate this in our form data for first subject which is 29th September 2011. I don't know and somehow in Excel this is getting restructured but let us keep it that way for time being so which is 29 September 2011 so now let us come back to SV and then try to identify the FSDT value for the second subject 1002 so we have multiple records for this subject the subject had varied visits okay out of these so if we see 14th November 21st November 5th December so these are all in December and then the subsequent records are in year 2012 and then in within 2012 jan feb march are the dates so and there is one additional date which is 13 december 2011 so the earliest things are like 2011 november and within 2011 november we have a record on 14th and 21st so the earliest value is 14th November 2011 the FSDT value for that subject would be now 14th November 2011 so now let us also try to find the FSDT value for subject 1003 in the same fashion let us filter for subject 1003 and then try to manually identify the earliest date so 2011 all the years are 2011 then the next preference we should give is for months so September October so within September we have records on 14th 20th and 27th so out of these three dates within September which was the earliest month so 14th September seems to be the earliest date so 
let us fill it in our forms so if we our programming uh, derivation has to work fine so we need to have these values coming up if our understanding of the specification and implementation is correct so let us try to programmatically derive this so here we have this piece of code which says we are using proxort within which we are using a where statement and we are trying to use sv as input and creating a data set named as f is dt01 and sorting the records based on u sub cd and sv st dtc within each subject the dates which occurred first which is the earliest date would come on top and followed by the other dates and the last date would be the occurring on the last record of that subject so here we have also applied the filter condition we are not missing of svst dtc so f is dt is nothing but the earliest visit date so if any date is missing we cannot use that record for earliest svst dtc so we have applied that filter and then in the next data step we have used the sorted data set as input and then employed by group processing so whenever we use by statement and two temporary variables would be created for each of the variables specified on the by statement here in this case as we have two variables u sub jd and svst dtc two variables would be created for u sub jd that is first dot u sub jd and last dot u sub jd these are temporary variables and then two additional variables would be created for svst dtc they will be last dot svst dtc and first dot svst dtc and again these will be temporary and will not be returned to the output data set by default but can be made use in the programming so here we are making use of the first dot u sub jd which will have a value of one and in a subsetting if statement this technically filters only the earliest record for each subject so if we have three subjects and if we have more than one record per subject as we have sorted the records based on sub jd and svst dtc we have ensured that the earliest record of each subject appears on the as the first record of that subject so that record would be subsetted and then after that we are extracting the date component from svst dtc we have seen in the input data set that we had both date and times were present in svst dtc variable the first 10 characters correspond to the date so we are using s sub str function to extract the first 10 characters which correspond to the date portion so this we are doing because our specification said extract the date part of svst dtc that extraction is being done using our sub str function and then we are asked to convert it to numeric so that numeric conversion is being handled with input function and we are using an in format of yymmdd10 because our dates are in terms of four digit year followed by two digit month followed by two digit day with a hyphen in between and the overall width of this date value is 10 characters so that's why we are using yymmdd10 and after converting that into numeric format so we are applying a format called date 9 to fsdt variable so in this all this process data set we do not need any other variables apart from u sub jd and fsdt so we are keeping only those two variables and then this data set can be merged to either our demographics data set of sdtm or your processed demographics data set which may already have some additional variables like the previously derived variables available onto which we can merge this fsdt to have our fsdt populated in our adsl programming so this is how we can program or derive our fsdt variable